Hey everybody, did it really here? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Hakuoki Zoi Soroku, the original fan disc material, or the extras added to the PS3 version of Stories of the Shinsengumi. We are starting on Okita Soji's parts today, and uh, as usual, we have to start in Shinsengumi Adventures Part 1 and make different choices where I am going to be forwarding over things that we have already read in the previous routes. So you might want to read Hijikata's part, uh, first episode and, well, watch Hijikata's first episode and Sonosuke's, just so you don't miss anything. Alright, so this time for the first time, we have to catch the cat. Let's see how that goes. That should be lots of fun. The cat has caused enough of a mess. We should take care of that first. Exactly. We cannot allow a second disaster to happen, or we'll be unable to show our faces to Hijikata. It must be captured immediately. We could use your assistance. Uh, I'll try my best. Though I'm not sure exactly what I can do that you and, uh, Okita can't. Saito was so serious. I felt like a soldier under his command. I could only keep nodding. Okita, on the other hand, laughed lightly, his gaze on me, a smile playing around his lips. He's not taking this nearly as seriously. We shouldn't expect much help from her corner on all this. Hey! The cat might actually like me and just come leap into my arms. Oh, those legs don't look very fast. The cat will likely run laps around you. Uh, I opened my mouth to defend myself when I realized he was probably right. I've been confined in my room for several months, and that couldn't have helped my stamina at all. Oh, so I wasn't doing squats and sit-ups in there, eh? Is it really that hard to catch? I hate to say it, but yeah. They had things faster than we anticipated, so it's been causing us trouble. Why don't you put out a bowl of milk? I'll help however I can. Thinking on it, the cat had already outwitted three of the Shinsengumi's finest, and their reflexes were honed to a sharpened point. Exactly what I was saying. If I didn't concentrate and push myself, there was no way I was going to be able to catch it. Unless it just likes you. Let's head out and start the search. We must find it before it gets into something else. Okay. Together, we left my room and went to where it was last spotted, the backyard. Off we go. I don't see it anywhere. I can't sense its presence hidden in this area at all. It doesn't seem to be here. Time to find a new place to search. Or we're just gonna have to spread out and look everywhere then. If only it'll leave the headquarters on its own. I get the feeling it doesn't want to be that helpful. We cannot relax our guard or our search until we receive word that the animal is truly left and does not plan to return. <laughs> It looks all like this is a conspiracy thing. We have to make sure that the cat isn't like some spy that doesn't plan on coming back into the compound. Man, listen up, Hajime. You're way too serious for this situation. He is! Look at that face! He sighed and shook his head exasperated. Just then. Huh? Oh, what's up, Chizuru? Did you think of something? Oh, n no, but I thought I heard a noise from over there. It sounded like crying. Huh. Yeah, cats often do sound like babies crying. The men exchanged glances. S sorry it probably has nothing to do with the cat. I shouldn't have bought it up. The silence was so thorough and oppressive that I immediately fumbled out an apology. Saito looked at me, his face impassive. Don't look at me like that. I doubt the voice or whatever you claim to have heard will lead us to a clue regarding the cat's location, but... We should determine the truth before we dismiss it out of hand. Yeah, and besides, if it really is someone crying, something had to have happened, and we might have to deal with it. Let's go see what's going on. Uh, okay. What if i just been hoping to hear a sound, and what I thought I heard was only in my head? Well, it can't hurt to look. As I walked with them in the direction I pointed, each step I took increased my anxiety. Oh, chill out, everybody. This is not a matter of life or death. Unless Hijikata's gonna force everybody to commit seppuku for not being able to catch a cat. We came to a stop in front of the Yagi residence. Uh-oh. Ah! There is actually a kid here. A little boy stood outside the entrance, crying. It must have been him that I heard. Well, it's not the cat, but it's something. Hey, that's the Yagi's kid. And why are you crying? <laughs> he sniffled a few more times before wiping his eyes. He tipped a tear-streaked face up at Okita. You took too long, and I worked really hard to catch it, but the kitty ran away. 
So, you were the cause of this whole mess. You brought the cat into our headquarters. Oh. Well, now we know the root of the problem. I must get more information out of him. That's not gonna help. <laughs> oh no, it's okay, don't cry. See, that's probably because you made a scary face at him, Hajime. Take responsibility and make him stop. <laughs> you really think he can do that? Don't speak nonsense. You like his Soji. He does? I thought he threatens to kill everybody. The two men glared at each other in silence. It went on for a while. Uh, just leave this part to me. Come on, guys. Huh. Hmm. Then, as if on some unspoken signal, both their gazes turned to me. <laughs> Why didn't I offer before that happened anyway? Uh... Alright, come on. Enough with the silence! Too many ellipses! Uh, Alright, I'll try something! Their unblinking stares were more than I could endure, so I gave in to their silent request. What should I do? Obviously, I should console the child, right? Let me make sure. Oh no, I have to make him laugh. Okay. Makes sense. Hmm, how should I cheer him up? Maybe... peek a -boo! I'm probably gonna scare the crap out of him. He's gonna cry more. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Sorry, Saito. It didn't work. Why did you trust me? Uh, that couldn't have gone worse if I tried. I felt my face heat up. I didn't mean to make him cry, and Saito turned a cold stare at me. This was obviously not what I wanted to happen at all. Don't you give me that look. You didn't even try. But then suddenly... What? Okita did something? <laughs> he was laughing so hard he was bent over holding his stomach. I guess he found it funny that no one else was laughing. Oh man, I can't breathe. That was incredible. I had no idea you were going to do that. <laughs> you didn't? It sounded like he was praising me, but I wasn't sure I should take it as a compliment. This is absurd. I can't understand you, Soji. Because you don't have a sense of humor, Saito. Oh, don't be like that. If it's something hilarious, you can't help but laugh, right? You haven't learned to restrain yourself. There are limits. You laugh too much. Exactly how much is too much? It's that kind of attitude that makes me believe you've lost sight of why we're here. Your focus is scattered. Okay, maybe I did go too far. But when she did that, everything I had in my head just flew out. I forgot about everything, and I was so surprised. <laughs> I guess he really did mean for it to be praise. Well, he enjoyed it. I made him happy, at least. I looked between them, unsure, and stayed silent. And how's the kid taking this whole situation? Saito frowned and shook his head, sighing gustily. I will go and search for the cat on my own. I only hope that you two get serious about this quickly. Saito, wait! He must have had enough of Okita's lightheartedness, because he turned and walked off, leaving us behind. Fine, I wanted to be alone with him anyway. I'd never seen him lose his composure that way before, but Okita was grinning, completely unfazed. All right. I guess that means we should do our best, too. Chizuru, go ahead and try again. What, to make the kid laugh? Uh... I had no idea what he was thinking. Was he cheering me on? But I turned back to the child. Here we go again. My first attempt failed. It was going to be a challenge to calm him down, but that was what I had to do. Or we could just leave him crying. <laughs> A long time passed before the boy was able to stop crying. I nearly exhausted my ideas. So, you're saying the cat you bought here was up in that tree a little bit ago. And since you couldn't reach it, it climbed up to the roof and ran off. The little boy wiped his eyes and nodded. The roof, huh? We can't see anything past the edge from down here. And we won't be able to pinpoint it that way. Uh, are you talking about climbing up there? I think that's your job. You're right. It was starting to look like we were going to have to climb up on the roof to look for it. We? We were trying to decide what to do when... Okita. Oh, was that Yamazaki? A curt voice called out, and suddenly Yamazaki seemed to materialize next to us. What are you doing? 
And why is Yukimura with you? I'm helping! Oh, what do you mean? Did you forget? We're still looking for that cat from earlier. That's right, you were part of that wild goose chase. Yes, I know. That's not what I was referring to. I've learned that you haven't reported the situation to Hijikata yet. Why haven't you done so? Because we're trying to keep Hijikata from finding out that it ever happened in the first place. The severe disapproving look on his face was sharply focused on Okita. Oh, just ignore me. I'm not here. For his part, Okita simply shrugged it off, turning a very obvious blind eye. So you're saying if we tell him about it, it'll magically resolve, and we won't have to worry about it anymore? Of course not. But this event has already caused a good deal of trouble for the Shinsengumi. All the food for lunch is inedible, and in the course of chasing the animal, the laundry ended up on the floor. Ah, oh, so more mess. It would be in our best interest to find out what the commander wants done before matters get worse. But if we take care of it first, then we don't need to bother Hijikata. No orders necessary. <sighs> it didn't look like either of them was going to back down anytime soon. They had similar ideas, but they'd never agree. That's the kind of relationship these two have. I glanced around to see that the little boy from the Yagi had disappeared. The aura flickering between the two men probably frightened him off. I almost felt like I should go too. After a few moments of mutual glaring, they turned around and looked toward me. Me? Why me again? What do you want me to do? Yukimura, what's your opinion on this? You've an unbiased outside point of view. Me? I thought we should... Let's see. Why, why are you letting me decide this? I'm not even one of you guys. You're constantly reminding that. And that, you know, you could kill me at any moment. So why am I deciding? Anyway, we had to decide to take care of it quietly because <laughs> that's what Okito wants. I suppose, if we think about what Hijikata and the others would prefer, if we went to them with everything a mess, then it'd be best if we took care of everything quietly. It looks like they were in the middle of an important meeting, so maybe we should try to do as much as we can before we bother them. <sighs> Sorry, Yamazaki! We'll get to you later. Yamazaki frowned. Uh, um... You can't please everybody all the time, girl. See, even she agrees. So just leave this to us. We'll deal with it. He wasn't trying very hard to hide the smug grin spreading across his face. Instead of blindly hating the idea in principle, would you just think about it for a minute? We don't want the matter to escalate any more than you do. I understand. He nodded reluctantly. You should help us, you know, instead of twiddling your thumbs and acting the ass. No, thank you. I have a mission of my own that has my hands full. I must prioritize over this issue. Well, what's your job, exactly? He refused to rise to Okita's bait. His stern countenance didn't change. However, if this situation worsens further, please report it to the commander. We will. His expression eased into relief after I vigorously nodded. He really did just want this resolved quickly like we did. He then headed off to his task, and we resumed our search for the cat. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Why is this so hard? Hey, look, Chizuru. Over there. Is that cat sleeping over there, the one we're looking for? How many cats could possibly be in the compound? Oh! My head spun to the direction he was pointing, and there it was, laying out in the sun. Yes, that has to be it. Let's go. Uh, slowly, please? Energy surged through my veins as I went through all the scenarios we planned in my head. To my surprise, Okita just strolled up to the small animal and... There you go. Meow! He grabbed a fistful of fur on the cat's back and lifted it up into the air, one-handed. You could hold it more gently, you know. You don't have to grab it by the scruff. Its frantic cries propelled me into action. No, Okita, don't! I rushed forward and took the poor thing away from him. That's right. Don't you know how to handle cats? Cats are really fragile. Even the smallest thing could break a bone or crush an organ. They could die. Well, they're not that fragile. I mean, I think if you picked it up by the scruff of its neck, it would be fine. It wouldn't make it very happy, but it would be okay. If you're going to capture it, you have to be more gentle. Uh, I'm sorry. Really? I actually cowed him? He blinked and apologized immediately. He seemed startled by the force of my response. I am too. I'm surprised that he's surprised. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean any harm. Really? I just figured we'd catch it, and that was easiest. 
My thoughts suddenly came into focus, and I realized what I'd done. My face burned, and I looked everywhere but at Okita. Oh, no, no. I should be the one to apologize. I stepped completely out of line. I can't believe I said those things to you. No, you were right. I wasn't being careful. I didn't realize how close I was to hurting it when it wasn't my intent at all. Aww. He lowered his eyes and fiddled with the edge of his sleeve. But, but I know I shouted at you and I had no right to. I'm incredibly sorry. He sighed and ran a hand through his hair. Clearing his throat, he turned to me. Come on, you two, stop making this awkward. Hey, look, I think you're confused about something. I don't just go around killing things for no reason, you know. I know, I know you weren't trying to hurt the cat. I can't say I ever thought much about cats or how weak they are, but I understand why you nearly jumped down my throat a minute ago. I may not know about the inner workings of a cat, but I do know a little about humans. Humans? I wasn't sure where he was going with this. What was he trying to say? You wouldn't know it to look at us. But humans are pretty fragile. We break easy. Yeah, flesh and bone. Cats and humans both have it. Um, I didn't know what to say. For such a heavy topic, his voice was strangely cheerful. That's because that's how Okita always is, usually. With a smile, he continued. So, it makes sense that a cat, which is so much smaller than either of us, would be more delicate. I'm amazed you already knew that. I suppose that comes from being the daughter of a doctor. I'm not sure that has anything to do with it. Yeah, I'd say it's common sense. He seemed to be genuinely impressed. That was a surprise. I'd always taken him for a cold killer, but right now his open face looked... innocent? Uh, not there it didn't. <laughs> well, it's time I got this little thing back where it belongs. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to take a little walk with that kid. Make sure he won't lose it again. So don't worry about it, alright? Uh, you're gonna give it back to the kid? And where are they gonna keep this cat? Thank you. If that kid's keeping the cat, then it's gonna just get back out here again. He gestured for the cat, so I carefully handed it over to him. Be careful. Huh. A nervous expression I'd never seen him make before crossed his face. He gently took the animal from me, his large hands grasping it softly, and cradled it into the crook of his arm. Uh. Gingerly holding the cat, he made sure it was secure before escorting me back to my room. Watching the care he took, I didn't know what to think of him. Maybe his heart really was in the right place, he just didn't always understand. This side of him was new, the urge to tiptoe around him all the time. I wasn't quite as afraid now. I sent a quick wish after the cat, hoping it would be able to live its days happily. It had helped me look at this man with new eyes and deserved a good life. Aww. A fresh look at Okita. Alright, so his next video is... Yeah, next video will be Okita Memories of Love 1 and 2 because... Yeah, seems like most of the guys, except for Hijikata, they're fairly short, so... I'm just gonna do 2 in each and then, you know, 8 will be its own thing. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8. So, hope to see you there for our first video on Okita all by himself. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye bye everybody.